Yeah. Welcome to Meknex, which is the code is uh, XTP111, Meknex. Why in computer science we call it BPH? BPH. BPH111. Or XTP, XTP111. That's Meknex. This is what we call it. Meknex. BPH111. Then, what are we talking about? Topic. But remember, your subscription is necessary on next topic. Why are you subscribing? The subscription is free. You subscribe so that anytime information is being posted on this topic, you will receive a notification. By the time you are subscribing, you subscribe and what? You tap your notification bell. So that anytime we post anything here, you get the notify and go to it. It's free. So let's go to the topic. We said topic measurements and dimension analysis in phases. It's very, very necessary. Measurements and dimension analysis in phases is very, very necessary. And the lesson one, we say this is lesson one. We are talking about lesson one here, the first lesson on this topic. Lesson one, there are two classes of physical quantity. We have physical quantity. There are two classes of what physical quantity. What are they? Fundamental quantity or what we call basic or primary what quantity. Fundamental quantity or as well we can call it fundamental units. Are you going to say that? And this fundamental unit is what we call Adam. I call them what Adam. You will see the reason why I call them what Adam. We said fundamental what or basic or primary quantity, which we call fundamental units. And we have number two, derived quantity. Derived quantity, which I call what if. Derived quantity, I call it what if. Why I call fundamental quantity what Adam. Then coming to this, we say fundamental quantity, which we call units, are basic or primary quantity units whose definition or unit or unit does not depend on other quantity their unit does not depend on other quantity have you seen the reason why i call it adam fundamental unit is adam which is created by god he's not created by from any woman being he's created by god so he is not derived from any woman being rather he is created by god so i call it adam that's what we're saying here. Fundamental quantity are basic or primary quantity or unit whose definition or unit do not depend on other quantity. It just depends on other quantity. And we say they are what? Seven fundamental quantity. We have seven fundamental quantity. Seven fundamental quantity. Name them. We say length. We say mass, time, electric current. Temperature, luminous intensity, and amount of substance. These are seven fundamental quantities, which is not created from anybody, but is created by God itself. We say length, mass, time, and what? Electric current, temperature, luminous intensity, and amount of substance. But let us take them on this table. And as a quantity, the first quantity we have here is length. And the length, the unit of length, look at what I wrote here, basic unit, which we call SI unit. You understand what I mean by SI unit? Basic unit, we say meter. Basic unit of length is what? Meter. And the basic symbol is what? M. So basic symbol for what? Length is what? M, which is what? Meter. And the dimensional symbol for length is what? Capital L. And what do we use to measure length? What do we use to measure length? Instruments we use to measure length is tape and the ruler. We use our tape and ruler to measure what? Length. Then now, number two, we talk about mass. And what's the basic unit of mass? Which is X I unit of mass, we call it kilogram. Kilogram is the basic unit of mass. And the symbol is kg. And the and, and, and what we call dimensional symbol is capital M. Dimensional symbol of mass is capital M. 
And the instrument used to measure mass is what? Spring balance. We use spring balance to measure what? Mass. So we are interested here in basic unit and the what? Dimensional symbol. Then I come to what? Time. Time, the unit, basic unit of time is seconds. And each basic unit is what? Capital S. And the dimensional symbol is capital T for time. And the, what we use to measure time, stopwatch. We use stopwatch to measure time in what? Physics lab. In a physics lab, we use stopwatch to measure what time. Number four, temperature. And what is the unit of temperature? KV. That's the basic unit of temperature. And its basic symbol is the word K. And the dimensional symbol is K. And what we use to measure temperature? We use thermometer. We come to numbers five. Electric current. And the basic unit of electric current is ampere. And the basic symbol of the electric current is capital A. That is the basic symbol. And the what? The dimensional word symbol of electric current is capital A. And what do we use to measure electric current? We call it what? Ammeter. We use ammeter to measure the word the electric current. We come to amount of substance with number six. Amount of substance, which is the basic unit of amount of substance, is mole. You can see it here. And the symbol for mole, which we call the basic unit, is the word M O L, which is the symbol. Then the dimension, it has no dimension. Number seven, which is the last. We have luminous intensity. Luminous intensity. And what's the unit of luminous intensity? We call it what? Candela. Candela is the unit of what? The luminous intensity. And the, the symbol is what? CD. CD, we are going to see CD in our what? What we call um, optical wave in your second semester. We begin to talk about luminous intensity, which is what? CD. Then now, note, what's the major thing we needed to know here? The major thing we needed to know here is the what? The basic unit of what? Length, which is meter. And the dimension of length, which is capital L, and basic unit of mass, which is kilogram, and the dimension is capital M, and the basic unit of time, which is what seconds, and the symbol, dimensional symbol, which is capital T. These are three units, three dimensions we needed to know. Capital L, capital M, capital T. Note again that the length is something and distance which we are going to see. Let us see other characteristics. Yeah, we cannot give a quantity in physics without units. Quantity in physics without units is just a bastard. Just like a bastard. And we'll call it dimension next word value. For instance, if I come in now and begin to shout 20, 20, I just come in into a hall, so it has 20, 20, which is a quantity. And what we call what magnitude 20 20 what people will ask me is 20 watts because the unit i'm going to give that magnitude is what will determine what it is without the unit they don't know what i'm talking about i'm just shouting 20 20 until when i said 20 meter or 20 naira immediately i said 20 naira people have already know that i'm talking about money are you gonna say that so if I say 20 meter, somebody have already know that I'm talking about what length or width or breadth. Are you can say that? So we now see that with that unit, that quantity become what? Scalar quantity. But unit is what gives the quantity direction. Are you can say that? If I say 20, it means nothing. It's meaningless. But when I say 20 meter cube, I'm talking about what? Volume. Or $20. I'm talking about what? Money. So now, let's go to what I say. I said, note that meter is used. Meter is a what? SI unit. Basic unit of length. And you know that length is the same thing as height. When I'm talking about height, I'm talking about length. When I'm talking about width, I'm talking about length. When I'm talking about what? Breadth, I'm talking about what? Length. When I'm talking about depth, I'm talking about length. When I'm talking about diameter, I'm talking about length. When I'm talking about radius, I'm talking about length. 
When I'm talking about distance, I'm talking about length. When I'm talking about displacement, I'm talking about length and etc. So we now see that all these things I mentioned now are length and they are, they are measured in what? Meter. And their dimension is what? Capital L. So that you will not be confused when we say height, you know that we are talking about what? Length. Then when I say width, we are talking about what? Length. When I say breadth, we are talking about length. When we say what? Depth, we are talking about length. When we say what? Diameter, we are talking about length. When we talk about radius, we are talking about length. When we say distance, we are talking about length. When we say displacement, we are talking about length. And all these things I mentioned now, they are measured in what? Meter. And their dimension is what? Capital L. Have you noted it now? That I will not mistake it. And as a note, XI units is the word system international unit. This XI unit, what we mention, the definition of it is what? System international what unit. And is international what? Accepted what unit among all scientists. Is accepted unit among all scientists. So anywhere you go, it is safe. In America, in Japan, in Europe, this is the standard unit. Then we're not coming to what we call drive units. And this drive unit is what I call what if. Drive units are those units that is derived from what? Fundamental unit. And what is fundamental unit? Adam. Drive units are those units we drive from one or two fundamental units. By combining one or two fundamental units, we get what? Drive unit. Either by multiplication of two fundamental or more than two fundamental units, we get what? Drive unit. Or either by multiplication and division of what? This fundamental unit will get drive unit. So that's what we are talking about. I said what? Drive unit is quantity or drive quantity or unit and the word quantity or unit whose definition does not depend on the word basic quantity. That's do that, I mean, do, whose definition de do depends on the word basic quantity. Their definition depends on basic quantity. They are derived from basic quantity and are gotten by combination. They are gotten by combination of what basic quantity or unit either by what multiplication division or a combination of what multiplication or what division of what basic quantity that's what i've said already i said that drive unit which we call uh, if is drive you know that will pro pro god produce if from what adam so drive units are derived from these seven fundamental units Either by combine, combining two of fundamental units by multiplication or combination of what the, uh, fundamental units by division, uh, uh, division or combination of multiplication and division uh, and what division will give me what drive unit. Let us look at this example. Go to the table here. I call quantity. I said area. Area is represented with capital A, and we said area. The definition of area is length times length. Length times length. Now, I'm combining two fundamental units now to produce the area, which is what? Length times length. Length is fundamental unit times what? Another fundamental unit will give me area. And what's the unit of length? Meter. What's the unit of the other length? Meter. That means meter times meter will give me meter square. That's what you see here. Meter what? Square. And the unit, which is called SI unit of area, is what? Meter square. Then a drive unit of what area is what meter square and working. I come here and say working. What's the dimension of meter? We we'll call it capital L. Capital L times capital L will give me L square. You will not see that I will get dimension of anything from the what drive unit. Then we we'll say L capital L square that give me dimension. Come over here. Capital L square give me dimension of what area. And if I write, as I write this like this, 20 meter square, automatically somebody will not know that I'm talking about what? The area. The person will ask me, area of what? How will the person know that I'm talking about area because of the unit meter square? And this 20 become the word, the magnitude, which is scalar quantity. Why this meter giving me a direction that takes me what I'm talking about, which is what area. The person would have said, area of what? So that's all about it. We've come to what volume. 
we use V to represent volume. And what's the volume? Volume is giving us what? Length times length times what length? How did I get that? Somebody will say, this is not length. This is not volume. We said volume is what? Height times what? Breadth times what? Width. Are you going to say that? And the height is length. Breadth is what? Length. And width is length. That's why I said length times length times length. Just like area. Area is what? Length times breadth. That's area. Area is what? Length times breadth. And what is breadth? As I said before, breadth is a word length. Therefore, I said length as length. Have, have I cleared you here? Coming to volume, volume is a word length as what breadth as height. Then what is height? Length. What is breadth? Length. What is height? Length. So I'm asking length as length as length as length. Give me what volume. And what's the unit of length? Meter as meter as meter. Tans meter will give me what? Meter cube. Meter cube is the unit of volume. And I have the unit, SI unit of volume is what? It's meter cube. And drive unit of what volume is a what? Meter cube. Then why did I call it drive unit? It's a combination of what? Three of what? Fundamental unit by multiplication. I produce what? The volume. Unit of volume. And I call it drive unit. And what? Working. I say length, which is capital L, times capital L, times capital L, give me capital L what? Cube. And dimension of what volume is what? Capital L cube. Look at over here. Capital L cube is the what? Dimension of what? Volume. Then that is dimension of volume. Can we come over here as well? We'll talk about velocity. Velocity is given the the unit the, 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 the zero for velocity is what? Capital V. That's V. Then we said velocity v equals to displacement over what time? And what is displacement? Distance over what time? I don't say. And what is the unit of the displacement? Length. Displacement is as same thing as what length. And the unit is what meter. I get what I'm saying. The unit of displacement is what meter because it's same thing as what length, man. Then what's the unit of time? Seconds. I get what I'm saying. That? So when I say the unit of volume is what meter per seconds. Have you seen it now? I got this, the unit of velocity, by combination of what fundamental unit, which is what meter, by dividing by another fundamental unit, which is what seconds, and that gave me what? The unit of what velocity. And we call this unit as what? Drive unit of what velocity. When I say that, unit of velocity is what? Meter per second, which is what? Drive unit. And the working become what? What is the dimension of what? Meter. The dimension of meter is capital L. What is the dimension? Look over here. Dimension of capital, um, meter is what? Capital L. Dimension of um, seconds is what? Capital T, which is dimension of time. And from here, I got what? The length times what? Capital T minus 1. How did I get this? Somebody will say, how did I resolve this to get this? You remember that if this is told me that 1 over what? A is something like what? 1 minus what? 1. I don't say that. I'm coming again. Come over here. I said, then this is saying that 1 over what a is something at what a raised to the power minus 1. Therefore, if I have what meter, if I have what capital what L, can I come here? Capital L over what capital T. I can write this as what capital L over 1 into what 1 over capital what T. I think you are following what I'm doing now. Coming over here, I can now say that this. L divided by 1 is the same thing as L. I have what L times what this man will now give me what T minus what 1. You remember, this is 1 over what capital what T. If this man times this will give me what back to this. And 1 times T will give me what back to this. I think you are clear. You're getting me right now. Then now, if I now use my indices law, is then 1 over A is the same thing as what A raised to the power minus 1. And I have 1 over what T is the same thing as what T raised to the power minus 1. I will now have this to imply that what L T minus one, and that's how I got this. Can you follow me? That's how we got this. We we'll resolve this to get this. Are you following me now? Then let's go to what density. Density is what this is what the symbol for density. I will say that definition of density is what mass over what volume. Mass over volume give me what density. And what's the unit of mass? We said SI unit of mass, which is the fundamental unit. Mass is the fundamental unit, which is what kilogram. And what's the drive unit of volume? Which we said meter cube. That drive unit of volume. We have already explained to it. Drive unit of volume is what meter cube. And the unit of what density become kilogram per what meter cube. And drive unit become what kilogram per what meter cube. And this is what I wrote this way. 
the same thing applicable what we did that this man here kilogram are you watching kilogram divided by what meter what cube the same thing as what kilogram times what one over what meter what cube and this will give me what kilogram times what meter minus what cube according to what indices you remember that indices told me that if i have what um if i have um, 1 over what? n a raised to power n eh? and the same thing as what? a raised to power minus what? n therefore if I have now 1 over what? Uh, um, uh, meter what? cube the same thing as what? meter raised to power minus what? 3 that's what it means that's what indices told me that's what I did here to resolve this to have what? this and that's the unit of what? dimension of what? the density dimension of density and all this, what we learn from this, the summary of this is that I can't get derived unit without having a definition. Number one, for me to get derived unit of any quantity, I must define that quantity. Before you can know the name of someone, you have to what define the person. Who are you coming from? So you will define the what the quantity. I can say that when we define the quantity, we will be able to get the what the unit. And from each drive unit, you will get what dimension. Are you following me now? How did I get dimension of a drive unit? I will first of all define that word quantity. You must define the quantity. When you define the quantity, you will be able to know the unit. And from the unit, you will get the dimension. And this is how you move. I can't get dimension of any quantity without knowing its definition, number one. And I can't get dimension of anything without knowing its what units. You must get the unit, which you call drive unit. From my drive unit, I will get my what? The dimension of that quantity. You will now see that the sequence of movement, that I must define the quantity. Then the next one, I will get the what? The drive unit of the quantity. Then from the drive unit, I get my what? The dimension. That's the way of getting it. Without definition, without getting drive unit, I cannot jump to what dimension. I can't be winch. From with that, I will get my word dimension. So let's go to what other example so that we detail it in detail.